Hey, what's up? My name's Samuel Leeds. I am a property investor, and in this video, I'm going to be answering all of your property investment questions. So do me a favor, though, hit the like button, smash subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a future video. Also, if you've got any questions at all, anything, nothing too personal, comment below, and I will answer your property investment questions. Last week, we had quite a few interesting questions last week. I had a guy called DPG. He said, what do you do after you put an offer through and it gets accepted in terms of getting investors' money together and the estate agent asking you to sign contracts? B-R-R-R. Um, okay. I don't know if you're talking about packaging and selling deals. Are you talking about packaging and selling deals here? Like a BRR strategy. For you or for an investor? Okay, so you have the offer accepted, but you want to get the investor's money. And you're saying, how can I get the investor's money, right? Yeah, so let's say you put the offer in, yeah. accepted, but then you need to raise the finance. And okay, okay, so if you, put in an, if you put in an offer in on a property, before you put a formal offer forward and get it accepted, you would probably want to get the investor kind of on board. Have you got that? Yeah. yeah. Cool, investor's ready, investor's got the money. Who's, prop, who's the name going in, or is it going in a joint name, joint company or something? Joint company. Joint company. So in that case, all you need to do is, the estate agent's gonna ask to see five things. Solicitor's details, mortgage broker, proof of funds, correspondence address, and photo ID. So you're just gonna have to just liaise with your joint venture partner and get, get those five things ready, mm -hmm. and then when the offer's accepted, show, you don't need to pay, yeah. you need to show you've got the money ready. Does that make sense? Got it, yeah. So get those five things ready, get the investor to get them ready, and then as soon as the offer is accepted, show the evidence. The money doesn't need to be paid until you come to complete, which will be about two months down the line anyway. Uh, if you need any more help, give me a shout. Matt Holf Holcroft, I have a question. I've heard that you can, only, you can only have an interest mortgage for up to five years. After this, you have to buy the property. Is this true? No, that's not true. Um, that's not true. Well, here's what's true. After five years, it will just turn from a fixed rate to a variable rate. So let me give you an example. If the mortgage company says, I'll give you a hundred thousand pound mortgage, you can fix it for five years on 3%, 3% interest per year. And then after five years, it will just go on to the new variable rate, which could be more than 3%, could be 5%, could be 10%. And at that point, you can either Remortgage and get a new lender, and then a new company will come in and give you the hundred grand, and then you'll use that to pay off the old company. But now you have the new rates. I hope that makes sense. Uh, okay, gaming elite Samuel, are buying and renting out caravans a good investment? Pff. I mean, listen, you could probably make a lot of money because you could probably buy one very cheap on a beach or something, and rent it out for quite a lot on serviced accommodation, Airbnb. However, the reason I like property so much is because when you buy a property, bricks, mortar, foundations in the ground, it's gonna last me a thousand years. It's gonna outlive me, it's gonna outlive my kids, it's gonna outlive my kids' kids. By which time, you can't keep passing money down anyway. The, the, the government will just take it off you, okay? A caravan, no. A caravan's gonna go down in value, it's gonna depreciate. So property is an appreciating asset that holds its value and gives you rent. A caravan's gonna give you rent, maybe really good rent, maybe really, but it's not gonna appreciate. So I probably would say no. Next, Samuel, could you suggest the best way to get a mentor? Yeah, you probably need a mentor. I'm happy to be your mentor. I will mentor you, my mentors will mentor you, and it's a one pound, you can pay one pound, Try it out for seven days, and it's 95 pounds per month thereafter. Join the mastermind, join the mentoring, it's crazy. I'll leave a link in the description so you can join, it's called Samuel365. Next, Carolyn Pinnock, what is a lease option agreement? A lease option agreement, Carolyn Pinnock, is when you buy a property now, but you agree to pay for it later. Uh, a way that I once sort of did it was there was a property and the mortgage on the property was 81,000 pounds. And they wanted about 85 grand. There was no equity in it. So I said, instead of buying the property, how about this? How about 
you give me the property, but I'll take on your debt. There's no, there's no profit in the house anyway. So give me the debt and I'll take on your horrible, nasty debt, namely your mortgage, but then I'll have the house for free. It's kind of like what it, how it rolls and how that, how that was structured was like a lease option. It was a lease option agreement where I had the option to purchase the property in seven years time for 81 grand. And in the meantime, I inherited the property. I rented it out. The rent paid for the mortgage payments plus more for me. I kept that little bit of extra money every month. And then after seven years, I used that little bit of money and bought the house, baby. By which time the house had gone up in value, but they could not sell it to anybody else because I, I had secured an option agreement on it and I had a restriction on the title deeds. They could not sell it to anybody else apart from me over those seven years. Hope that helps. Next, Kieran Calcutt says, I'm 17. Do you think I should rent a house to live in for a few years, a council house? After a few years, buy the house? Then move out to another council house? <laughs> Listen, man, you could do that, but then you're gonna have to live in council houses your entire life. I probably wouldn't do that. And then they're probably, they might change the rules by the time you get the right to buy anyway. Tyler Lewis, any advice on what bank is best to go for a mortgage with? Don't go to a bank, go to a mortgage broker. And they'll be an independent broker, go to an independent mortgage broker, let them scan all the banks. You don't want to be going to a bank. Right, Slim, last question. What do you think about doing ASAP to get started in property? Do you think I should wait and self-educate myself more or jump straight in? If you think I should just go for it, what would you recommend me to start? Listen, you need to get trained alongside doing it. Sometimes people think, I'm gonna have a bash on my own and see what happens. If you have a bash on your own without support, you'll have a bash and you'll have a crash. Other people think, I wanna train and I wanna know everything before actually doing anything. No, you can't know everything before doing everything. You need to learn as you earn together. Hope you that was helpful. Drop your questions below and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.